Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to talk about the Butterfly Beauty Thinlets. I'm just going to give you a couple tips on how to cut these and you might realize that this Thinlet collection is huge and you might think it's duplicate but it's not. Let me show you here. So here's ones that I cut out. So this is the one butterfly collection and then this is the part two and they layer on top of each other like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm using the basic black for the outline and then I use the lovely lipstick foil paper for the bottom layer. So what you're going to do is you're going to decide which one is the outline. So this is the outline and you can actually tell when you take them both out of the box and you can layer them on top of each other so you can tell that they're totally different from each other so this is the outline part so let me layer this on here so you can see see this is the outline part and then this is the underneath section for this thinlet isn't that gorgeous okay so a couple tips now this also comes in a bundle with the beauty of bound stamp set let me show you that it's in the occasions catalog and it is on page 13. Here's a stamp set and then here's the gorgeous Butterfly Beauty Thinlets collection. So a couple tips. I don't have my big shot out here, but I just want to give you a couple tips. Use your wax paper. You're just going to use your wax paper to cut your thinlet. It's going to actually add a little coating to your thinlet, just like that. And then I have a piece of basic black cardstock here. And another tip, you're going to also add your multi-purpose adhesive sheets, which look like this. And it's double-sided adhesive. So it's sticky on this side, and then it's also sticky on this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to peel off one side. Let me just show you here. Peel off one side of the adhesive sheet. And then you're going to put your cardstock down on top of this. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like once you cut it out. And then this back side, you're going to peel off this part here, and it's going to reveal another side of the sticky part. So when you're adhering these two layers together, you're already going to have your adhesive already on the butterfly. So it's going to make it adhere really beautifully together. So you don't have to use your snail or your liquid glue. It's going to have it already on the back. You're going to actually use your Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter instead of your magnetic platform and you're going to lay your both of your acrylic plates you're going to use one acrylic plate on top of your thin die adapter and then your cardstock and then you're going to use your wax paper on top of your cardstock and then your thinlet on top of the wax paper then you're going to cut that through your big shot and I found with my Big Shot, because every Big Shot's calibrated different, you might want to run that through a few times to make sure it cuts out all these little tiny pieces. So like I said, with the this Thinlet is very um, detailed. So you might want to run that through a few times with your Big Shot. And then you're going to take your Big Shot die brush with your foam pad. Then you'll take your Thinlet. Then you'll just take your, your Big Shot die brush and run that over top of your Thinlet. Or you can take your paper piercing tool or your take your pick tool and punch out all those little tiny circles, the ones that don't come out by themselves. So if you don't want to use your multi-purpose adhesive sheets or if you don't have them, you can use your silicone craft sheet and you can put adhesive on this. And I'm just going to use the snail. You can just add your snail to certain parts of your butterfly course the larger sections of your butterfly but when you're using your silicone craft sheet the adhesive won't stick to that it will stick right to the cardstock which is the butterfly so I'm just going to use the snail and just randomly touch certain parts of the butterfly layer just like that okay so there we go now we're going to take our second layer here and layer that right on top of that just doing one butterfly at a time. Get them lined up perfectly. Just like that. So pretty. And then another thing with this really nice collage of butterflies, you can cut them individually. So if you want to cut all these butterflies apart to have them on a project by themselves without it being on a collage where they're connected, you can also do that as well. So. That's a little bit about the beautiful Butterfly Beauty Thinlets and then also the Beauty Abound stamp set, which you can purchase in a bundle. Okay, so that's it. Hope that helped you.
Okay, thanks for stopping by. Hey, if you like the video, click the like button. If you love the videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye.